Birds and the Bees, 2004 by Jack T. Chick. Children, today we have a big surprise. Oh, wow, cool. We have two dentists who were nice enough to come visit us. These wonderful men are highly respected in our community. Hi, kids. My name is Larry. Hi, Larry. And this is Charles, my wife. Hi, oops, wife? Children, this is an ordinary loving family. God has blessed you two. I see how much you love each other. Smack. Oh, yes, we do. And next month, we are adopting a baby. God expects a man to marry a woman and have children. Any other way is forbidden by God. Genesis 2.24, Leviticus 18.22, Romans 1, 26 and 27. Do you have a question, Frankie? Yes. Are they queers, Miss Hen? Did you say queer? How dare you? That's a forbidden word at this school. Shame on you. But my dad said it's wrong. No, your father is wrong. People like him are dangerous. His dad should be in an insane asylum. Now you apologize to those nice gentlemen, Frankie. Do I have to? Yes, or I'll send you to the principal. Kids, lots of great and famous people are gay, but some people are evil and intolerant. Those who refuse to support gays. They hate us and call us all kinds of nasty names. But if we get our way, they'll all be in prison. Oops, time's up. Thanks for listening. Thank you, Larry and Charles. This is how the gays are changing the way little school kids think. Wow, what do you think of that, Susie? My grandpa told me not to say anything until I'm off school grounds. Miss Hen really told Frankie off for saying queer. Oops, sorry. She thinks that... The way they live is cool, and she said God bless them. Susie, you told us you read the Bible with your grandpa, right? Yes. So did God really bless them? If he did, being gay must be okay, right, Susie? Wrong. God hates homosexuality, and he warns us in the Bible to stay away from it. And the Bible is true. The Bible shows us what's right and wrong. Years ago, it was read in schools, and kids learned about heaven and hell. But now we can't have a Bible or even talk about Jesus in school. So kids grow up not knowing what God says about the devil or what sin is. God has a book called the Book of Life, and if your name isn't in it, he'll cast you into a lake of fire. What? Why hasn't anyone told us about that? Can I tell you about it? Yes, tell us. Okay, did any of you ever tell a lie? Sure, we all have. What's wrong with that? God says no liar will go to heaven. We are all lost, but God made a way to get our names in the book of life to save us. How, Susie? God doesn't want anyone to go to hell, so this is what he did. He sent his son from heaven to get rid of your sins and get your name in the book of life. Jesus, God the Son, died on the cross and shed his precious blood to wash away our sins. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Three days later he arose from the dead. He is now in heaven and is coming back very soon. When you ask Jesus to forgive your sins and believe he died on the cross and rose from the dead, do you know what will happen? What? You'll get saved. Your name will be in the book of life. Do you want to pray now? Yes. All three kids got saved. God gave us a true picture of the gay lifestyle in the Bible. Centuries ago, there were four cities under the control of Satan and his devils. The worst city was Sodom. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. Genesis 13.13 13. These Sodomites worshipped Satan were possessed with devils, and they hated God. Their stink reached heaven, and God was fed up with them. He planned to destroy them to keep their filthy lifestyle from spreading. But there was a problem. 
in the city of Sodom was a man named Lot who loved God. God sent two angels to rescue Lot. Lot, you must leave now. They came to Lot's house, but the Sodomites found out. That night, the Sodomites came, trying to do nasty things to the angels. But the angels blinded them and rescued Lot and his family. As soon as they got Lot and his family out of Sodom, God firebombed the cities and turned them into ashes. Today, those same kind of people are back, but now they are called gays. Wow. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Jude 7. Why did Miss Hen bring them into our class? She had to. Because of new laws, Satan wants to destroy us kids. But God still says being gay is an abomination. Thou shalt not lie, make love with mankind, as with womankind, it is abomination. Leviticus 18.22 If anyone tries to make you gay, stay away from them. Jesus said it would be like the time of Lot when he comes back. Luke 17, 28 and 29. He's coming from heaven to smash the devil and all those who are against him. 2 Thessalonians 1, 7 through 10. On judgment day, Jesus will have the book of life opened to see whose name is in it. We'll go to heaven because our names are in the book of life, right Susie? Yes, because you made the right choice. I feel so sad about all the kids who will be tricked into believing it's okay to be gay and not believing in Jesus, because none of their names will be in the book of life. Don't get upset if the devil's crowd laughs at you for serving the Lord. When Jesus Christ returns to rule the world, you'll be on the winning side. And whosoever's name was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 20:15. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved from hell. Acts 16.31 The Bible says there's only one way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. John 14.6 Nobody else can save you. Trust Jesus today. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10.9 Admit you are a sinner. See Romans 3.10. Be willing to turn from sin, which is to repent. See Acts 17.30. Believe that Jesus Christ died for you, was buried, and rose from the dead. See Romans 10, 9 and 10. Through prayer, invite Jesus into your heart to become your personal Savior. See Romans 10.13. What to pray? Pray something along these lines. Dear God, I am a sinner and need forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ shed his precious blood and died for my sin. I am willing to turn from sin. I now invite Christ to come into my heart as my personal Savior. If you trusted Jesus as your Savior, you have just begun a wonderful new life with him. Now, read your Bible, the King James Version, every day to get, in, to, get to know Jesus Christ better. Talk to God in prayer every day. Be baptized, worship, fellowship, and serve with other Christians in a church where Christ is preached and the Bible is the final authority. Tell others about Jesus Christ. Here's help to grow as a new Christian. Read the next step, available at Chick Publications. Thank you for watching. Come soon, Lord Jesus.